Hello guys, today we will talk about Laravel modules, how to split your application into modules based on one interesting open source example, advising app by Kenyon GBS. It's a very big project, but it's open source and we will see how it is divided into interesting pattern of app-modules folder. You can take a look at the readme and I'll link that in the description below. This is a SaaS offering to colleges and universities with CRM for student service, tracking interaction, files and documents and more, built with Filament by the way. And side note, you will see Dan Herring, creator of Filament, as one of the creators of this project. So we will see some Filament along the way. And in general, it's a tall stack application. But to understand how it works in terms of modules, we need to take a look at Composer JSON file. How it is registering the modules. And interestingly, every module is registered as internal package, like it would be a Laravel package with Composer. So if you scroll to Composer JSON, you see the huge list of this. So Canyon GBS, the same vendor, and then advising app and then different name. And those packages are internal for this application. So all that list is tied together with one line in Composer JSON a bit later, down below this one, repositories, app modules, all subfolders. And if we go to that app modules folder, we will see all of those packages, but they are not downloaded from packages via Composer. They are used within the same application. So app modules alert is referenced in Composer JSON. If we scroll up again, like Canyon GPS advising app alert like this. And if we go inside of that folder of alert, that alert is kind of its own Laravel application with config, with database structure. In this case, they use GraphQL also. And if you're not familiar with GraphQL, I have a separate course about it, pretty old one, but most of it is still relevant. So I'll link that in the description below. Then each folder has Composer JSON. And by the way, hi Dan. This is what I meant that Dan Heron is one of the creators of this project as well as Filament. So yeah, this is similar like it would be a package. We have service provider, we have tests, factories, and seeders, and the main kind of meat of that package or module, I'm not even sure which word to use, is this. SRC folder looks familiar, looks like a Laravel application, doesn't it? And this is exactly the point. So each module or each package is considered like a separate application that could be given to a separate team. For example, we have models here and we have alert model and also other folders you can see in SRC, for example, enums specifically for that module of alert policies, validation rules, and even filament resources. So yes, we have filament resource and filament pages for that specific module of alert. If we go to any other folder analytics, it's pretty similar. So kind of mini Laravel application. And if we go to SRC, Again, we have some filament stuff, we have models, policies, and other files. So yeah, this is just a quick overview of the structure. You may want to dive deeper, and I will link that in the description below. You may launch your project locally based on this open source project and take a look how the modules work together, also with filament and with the structure of package-like folders. What do you think about this structure? Because in the past, when referencing Laravel modules, I mostly referred to one package and even if you Google Laravel modules, the first three results except for sponsored are about the same package, Nicholas Widard Laravel modules. But in this project, the modules are used in quite a different way. And by the way, recently Laracasts have released a new course by Mateusz here called Modular Laravel. So if you want to dive deeper into splitting application into modules, you can watch this three and a half hours of explaining it by Mateusz. But also in this video, we talked about packages. So if you're not familiar with the structure, how to create a package, I can recommend my own course. So in the list of courses, if you look for packages, this is the one, how to create Laravel package. I created a simple Laravel package myself, which is by the way public. So I explain all the steps along the way. So I will link all of those resources in the description below. And see you guys in other videos.